a pretty good one, wasn't it? So I recorded that last month at this abandoned property that I was exploring. And uh, so I, was, I wasn't really paying attention to my surroundings, but I was, I was working and focusing on this camera that I just bought and trying to really dial in the, the settings and stuff. And so when I looked up and over to my right, I was like, whoa, stopped me dead in my tracks. Cause at my first glance, first impression, it looked exactly like a big head with eyes, nose, mouth, ears, all that kind of looking right back at you, peeking from behind a tree. That was literally my first impression when I saw that. And, uh, you know, which doesn't happen quite often. And uh, so it took me a second or two to fully process what I was actually looking at. And it was actually uh, moss growing on some deadfall that stuck between some trees. Literally, that's all it is. But at the right angle with the right light, it can look exactly like a big head looking tree peeking from behind a tree. And uh, so I took some video of it too. And I had to zoom in because it was a little further away. And when zooming in and re-watching the video, it almost kind of looks like the head is moving with you. And that's the video matrixing effect that uh, happens during recording, especially with cell phones that don't have the best sensors and stuff. So, so just one of the best examples that uh, I've come across personally and uh, seen online in many years. I just like, yeah, here, you guys got to check this out. So it's a great example of forced pareidolia. And, and yes, I did get zaskied there for a moment. But uh, and this is probably what a lot of his pictures are. It's just the light hitting, you know, the deadfall and stuff at the right angle. And, and uh, you know, that's why it's important to do a due diligence on doing a full investigation, uh, doing size comparisons before or after, make sure it's not a stationary object. You know, it's, if uh, somebody's going to release, you know, something like that to the public, that's the due diligence that they would need to do. But uh, I can assure you this is exactly what I say it is. It's not, uh, it's not a Bigfoot peeking at his head and around a tree and stuff as much as I would love that for it to be that but uh, nope that's not what this one was so another great example all right that's the end of this one uh, we'll see you on the next one